Hi guys, welcome to another prototyping video. And this week we're going to be doing some prototyping in Figma. And specifically, we're going to be creating a paged image carousel inside of Figma, all together with paging dots. So I've got my kind of starter Figma file open here. I'm just gonna skip over to another page, just kind of show you the end result, what we're gonna be building. So it's gonna open up preview here. And you can see here, I've just got a mobile view with a hero carousel at the top. And we've got our paging dots underneath here. So you can see I can drag. And if I don't drag all the way, it's gonna snap back. And if I drag far enough, it's going to snap to the next item. So, and you can see also that the paging dots are animating as well. Okay, so this is what we're going to be building in this video. Okay, so I'm over here in my start here page. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and just drag and duplicate my three hero squares. Okay, I'm just gonna paste them over here on the right hand side. And the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna wrap those into an auto layout. So you can just hit Shift A to wrap your items in an auto layout and it kind of creates a new frame for you. And we're gonna name this carousel items. Okay, okay, so I've got my, my three items wrapped into an auto layout. I'm now going to wrap them again in another auto layout. Okay, so it's now gonna be inside another auto layout frame. You can see it here. And I'm gonna rename this one carousel one. I'm gonna put the number on the end so that Figma automatically renames the carousel items for us. Okay, so we've now got our carousel items wrapped into an auto layout called carousel. Okay, now I wanna bring my paging dots in. So I'm just gonna come down to here, grab my paging dots, and I'm gonna come over to my carousel, and I'm just gonna paste them inside. And I want them actually to be outside of the, the carousel items, okay? And obviously you can see, because I've got an auto layout applied, it's going to try and auto layout the paging dots into, into the top left-hand corner. So I just want to take them out of the flow. So I'm gonna go over to design mode. I'm just gonna basically change the position to absolute, so I can now drag them wherever I want. And I kind of want them in the center here at the bottom, okay? So you can see they're here. And I just want to take that number off. We wanna make sure that the name is the same because we want the smart animate to kind of do its magic. Okay, so we've got our paging dots there. That's looking good. Um, right, next up, we're going to remove, oh yeah, we've got to move the padding. Obviously when we, when we added the paging dots, it added some padding, let's just kind of get rid of that. And we also just want to now change the bounding box. So we're just gonna bring the carousel bounding box just so it frames the first image. And we're going to tap the clip content. So we've now got our carousel item and it's kind of all neatly hiding the, the extra items there. So next up, we're going to duplicate this. So I'm just gonna drag over another two items. So carousel two, you can see that Figma's automatically named it and carousel three. So we've now got our three carousel items. And what we wanna do is we want to basically change the carousel two into carousel three so it actually shows the correct image, okay? So to do that, we're going to come into carousel two. And I'm just gonna open that up. And I'm gonna to come to the carousel items. And again, I wanna be able to move this. And it's already in an auto layout, so I'm also going to position this absolutely so I can move it around and I can now change the X to minus 390, okay? What you've also seen is the paging dots have disappeared because of the order, so we just need to bring those paging dots to be underneath the carousel item so that it's in the correct position. Okay, so we've got the first item done. Um, what we also wanna do is we want to change the paging dot that's selected, so let's just come into that and let's um, go to the first dot. We're just gonna turn that down to 50%. 50% opacity and dot, the second dot, we're just gonna bring up to 100. Okay, cool. So now we wanna do exactly the same things to carousel number three. So let's just go into that. 
And again, we're going to position absolutely. And we're going to change this to minus 780. That's 390 minus 390 times two. And that'll give us our third hero image. And again, we want to move the paging dots underneath so we can see them. And we want to change the paging dot as well. So we want to change again, first dot to be 50%. And we want to change the third dot to be 100. Okay, so here we are. We've got now our three carousel items all kind of neatly wrapped in their little packages. And we're now going to use the magic of connecting these frames together and smart animates kind of make this work. Okay, so we're going to switch over into prototyping mode. And I'm going to come to the first carousel. Now I'm going to do this kind of with the prototyping window. I find it quite difficult with all these nested um, frames to kind of find the, the, the kind of drag points. So obviously do it however you want to do it. Um, so I'm going to go into carousel one. And I actually want to select the carousel items frame, not the carousel one frame, okay? So that's very important. Select the carousel items frame. I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna create a new interaction. And the interaction I'm gonna use is on drag. Okay, so when we drag the frame, I'm going to navigate, and I'm gonna to navigate to carousel two, okay? So that's all we need to do there. We need to make, make sure that Smart Animate is on, the ease out and all of this stuff doesn't really matter. You can just leave it at default, it doesn't really affect anything. Okay, so that's our first one connected. So we can just check this. Let's just open up preview window and just make sure this is all working. So if I should be able to drag from here, and you can see if I don't drag all the way, it's gonna snap back, but I can drag all the way to the second item and you can see that it's moved and also the paging dot has moved, but I can't do anything else. That's the, I've only kind of added that first, that first interaction. Okay, so now I just need to really just add the other noodles. So I'm just gonna come back to here. So I'm gonna select carousel two. And again, I'm gonna select the carousel items inside, add an interaction on drag, navigate to carousel three. Okay, let's go to carousel three. Again, carousel items, interactions on drag, navigate to, and this time, because we're on the third one, we want to navigate back to the second one. So to back to carousel two. Okay, and we're actually going to come back to carousel two. And again, choosing that carousel items, we're going to add another drag. This time we're going to navigate to carousel one. So I think it was quite clever. It actually works out which direction you're dragging and it's going to navigate you to the correct frame, which is, is quite cool. Okay, so we've kind of connected everything up. Let's kind of test that out. We're gonna hit our flow and we're going to try it out. So I'm gonna drag the first one and you can see I've gone to the carousel two item and I can go to the third one and I can kind of go back the other way. So all working pretty nicely. Okay, so that's kind of the hard work done, but of course I want to be able to reuse this in you know other prototypes. So I want to kind of componentize this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all three of the carousel items. I'm going to come up to the components menu and I'm going to choose create a component set. Okay, so that's going to basically merge my three pages into, into component um, into component objects, into individual component states. I'm just gonna rename this carousel. Carousel, I might have a few of these. It's quite carousel. Okay, and if I come over to my assets, you can see I've got a carousel component here. Okay, cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come over to my frames, I'm gonna create a new iPhone 13 and 14 frames. It's basically the one that's 390 wide. And I'm gonna grab my component, I'm gonna drag it in here and kind of position it correctly. I'm just gonna call this home. And let's come back into prototyping mode. So that's um, Shift E if you wanna switch between design mode and pro prototyping mode. Um, actually I was already in prototyping mode by the looks of it. I'm just gonna add a flow point. I'm just gonna call this. Carousel final. And we're going to open that up. 
Um, for some reason, it just frames it. So I'm just going to reset the size so we get the whole thing. And then you can see I can now use my carousel inside of my design. It's now componentized and I can use it in any of my designs that I want to. Obviously, I can also change all the images in the original, in the original carousel component. Okay, so there you have it. A really easy way to create a page carousel with all of that page in snapping all kind of fully integrated in inside of Figma. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you want me to kind of do more Figma prototyping videos, then please let me know what you're trying to achieve. Um, always looking for ideas on what problems you guys are having and how I can help you. So with that said, hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give it a like. And if you want to be notified when I drop more Figma prototyping videos, then please subscribe. I'm also going to be still dropping Protopy videos. So we're going to be expanding out to um, do doing prototyping videos around all sorts of tools. And I'm really interested to see how far I can push the Figma prototyping. So with that said, I'm going to leave you to your day and I'll see you next time.